In this video, I'm going to show you how to source from Pinduoduo from start to finish using a foreign bank card. Let's go. So I'm going to be showing you how to register, how to input your address, how to apply for a foreign bank card, how to look for goods, how to pay for goods, how to track for goods. A lot of people have asked me for a Pinduoduo tutorial, so here it is. The platform is only in Chinese and only supports mobile versions for your iOS or Android device. But if you follow these instructions step by step, you can learn how to use it without speaking any Chinese. And you can look in the description down below and exactly what steps I'm in and you can see them on the screen on exactly what I'm going to be talking about. So to start sourcing from Pinduoduo, you're going to need a WeChat account, a valid and not expired passport. You don't need to have a Chinese visa, you just need a passport, a bank card like Visa or MasterCard. And lastly, Pinduoduo application. You can scan the code here to download it, or I'll put the link in the description below so you can start downloading and using it immediately. So the first thing you gotta do is make an account. You gotta make a WeChat account first because it'll make the sign-in process a lot smoother. If you try to sign in straight from Pinduoduo, it's gonna be complicated, especially if you don't have a Chinese phone number. You can refer to this video on the whole tutorial on how to sign up for WeChat and all that and its function. Ideally, before you actually start downloading the Pinduoduo application on WeChat, you wanna have someone send you lucky money just so you can have the WeChat Pay function available. If not, just keep on listening to the end of this video. I'll show you another way around it. So once you actually have a WeChat account that you can start using, download the Pinduoduo application and log in using your WeChat. So I have a different account that I'm using this example here. I'm logging in for the first time Pinduoduo using my WeChat information. And I want to clarify one more time, Pinduoduo does not have a web service available. Only on your mobile phones can it be used. So once you've created an account on Pinduoduo by logging in through WeChat, you want to update your personal information. You simply go to the Me tab, or I think it's like the Personal tab right here, and you can update your address here. This is probably the first step you want to do is to update your receiving address. Note. Pinduoduo does not support foreign addresses like you may see on Taobao. So you need to put a local freight forwarder in there. If you try and put a foreign address or a foreign country, it's just not going to work. If you can't find a freight forwarder or don't know where to start for a freight forwarder, you can contact me via social media on the links below. And I'll also put a link to this video right here that goes step by step on how to use your own freight forwarder in China. Because you already have a WeChat account, you can start using it immediately. And it's services that I use on a daily basis. But when you actually put the address in, everything must be in Chinese. Chinese characters, not pinyin. If not, it won't be easy to transport goods and they're going to ask you for clarification from the factory to the freight forward. So now that you have your address and your account on Pinduoduo, the next step you need to do is start looking for products. So in this example, I'm going to look for wireless headphones. You simply go to the homepage, go to the search bar and search wireless headphones. I'm not quite sure Pinduoduo has the image search function that 1688 and Taobao do. If they do, I haven't found it yet, but for now you're going to need to use Google Translate. So if you don't know how to look for something, you can use Google Translate, simply type in wireless headphones, copy that translation and put it into Pinduoduo and look accordingly. And you can see many items here. You can just see one that suits your needs. You can click on it and eventually you can add it to your cart by clicking on this button on the bottom right corner. However, before adding it to the cart, I recommend you check the reviews of the product. You can click right here that says reviews and all of these interfaces should look the exact same for every product. And you can see the feedback of different customers and different people that have used this product to make sure it is not a scam. Now, after you've verified and you want to use a supplier, go ahead and add it to your cart. You're not done yet because the hardest part is coming up and that's the payment gateway. So go back to the homepage, go back to my personal tab on the bottom right corner and you can actually look at your cart from here. From here is where it gets kind of interesting. So you can continue on with the checkout process. Remember the address I made you put in earlier? When you click on the item, you should see the address on the top. That should match the address you put in earlier for your freight forward. But when it comes time to pay, you can see different payment methods here. You can see you can have a friend pay, you can pay on WeChat, and if you select on more, you can pay using credits from Alipay, which you probably won't get if you haven't been living in China for a long time as a foreigner, and you can use Alipay. Alipay Tour Pass actually does support payments in this platform. So you can look at this video right here on exactly how to set up your Alipay Tour Pass if you want to use that method, but the method I'm going to be teaching you is using WeChat Pay. So when it comes to the payments, you want to select WeChat and click on the next step. You should have an option to start paying with WeChat. 
Now, as I mentioned before, hopefully you had someone already send you lucky money so that your WeChat pay function is available. But if not, your WeChat pay function should now become automatically available after you create a Pingdodo account. When you click next on payments, you're gonna see options that you can pay with your Palins or you can pay with a new bank card. You want to make sure you select new bank card. Now the order of this may be different per person. You may need to put in your personal passport information first, which is why I mentioned you need your passport, and the screen should look something like this. So then you can see that you need to put in your personal information, your passport, your country, the expiration date of your passport, all that. And then WeChat will give you like maybe one day, 24 hour period before they verify your account, then you're good to go. That could be one step. Both of these have to happen, but that could happen to you first. Or when you put in your bank card under the selection of how do you want to pay on WeChat, you click on insert new bank card, put in the information of your bank card that includes the email used for your bank, the address used for your bank, like your home address, and all the personal information like the security code of the Visa or MasterCard and all that. And if all goes through, then it would be registered into WeChat. Realize that until you go through the passport and the bank card verification, you won't be able to use this function. This process could take between one to five days depending on how WeChat is. WeChat's customer service is pretty bad, so you can expect it to be really low. This took me about five tries. I had to try five different times with four or five different cards for it to eventually work, but I finally got my foreign bank card to link into WeChat. It took forever. You might be luckier and it might work for you your first or your second time. So in the end, after you have put your passport information and gotten verified with WeChat, after you've successfully put in your bank card with your personal information and WeChat so set to it. Now go back into Pindodo, go back into your cart, look for the item, select WeChat, and then when it asks what you wanna pay with, select your foreign bank card and continue on with your payment. If everything is linked properly, it should go through. Note that if you get a note saying your daily transaction limit has been reached, you might just have to wait on WeChat like one day before it's registered completely. Or you might need to, you might get a pop-up that says view details and then they might ask you for more personal information and then WeChat just needs to verify your information. Now for the fees, this varies. If you're using a foreign bank card on Pindodo, you can expect between three to 5% of transaction fees to get it from your local currency to RMB. And this varies, it's not like a set rate, so it varies. You just gotta pay attention to what they charge in your bank versus what the product actually costs. If I had to choose, I would definitely choose using the Alipay Tour Pass because it is more foreigner friendly and they have English services. You can check out this video right here about the differences between WeChat and Alipay and what is better for you and your business. But I'll let you decide if you wanna use the WeChat Pay or the Alipay Tour Pass function. So I've already said a lot, right? So you finally made it through the payment. And if you have, congratulations. You now have a means to source from China using your foreign bank card. But after you place the order, how do you track it? Well, you can simply go to the Me tab and then you can look at the top Right here, you can see it has different options for like all my orders, paid orders, waiting for shipment, and actually shipped. Here you can see the process of where your item is at in the logistics process. If it's been paid for, if it's been shipped, if it's arrived at the final destination, you can just click here and stay up to date with your orders. Now, if this isn't smooth your first time, I know it's complicated, but they make it complicated on purpose. This is meant to be used in the domestic market for Chinese people, not for foreigners. So the fact that I found this loophole thanks to one of my subscribers that actually pointed it out for me when they started sourcing using Pinduoduo, I felt like I wanted to share this information with you. So if you know someone that wants to start sourcing from Pinduoduo using their foreign bank card, share this video with them. If you found value from this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content on a weekly basis about foreigners having a better lifestyle and doing business in China. And I do have a surprise for you guys later this month to alleviate all these problems that you just heard sourcing from China. Thank you for watching, keep surviving, and I'll catch you in the next video.